Welcome to this week's video and this week I'm going to show you how to put a USB-C port in a PlayStation 3 controller. Now this is the resistor I need to attach. Unfortunately I've got slightly two larger ones so the ones that I need is a little bit smaller but we can make do with this we just have to fit it at an angle. So I'm applying a little bit of flux first then a little bit of solder then we'll come in and we will position the chip into place so we'll hold our tweezers and then we'll solder one end to make sure that's in position so just make sure it's at an angle which it is and then we'll spin it round to get a better angle and I'm going to apply a little bit of wire to the other pad and then spin it round and unfortunately we've got to do a little jumper wire but it's still going to have the same effect make sure that's fully stuck in, fully soldered Whittle off the excess and we're done with that bit just give it a little bit of a clean of isopropyl and then flip over there's four pads on the other side we just apply a little bit of flux to all these and a little bit of solder and then this is what we're going to be soldering to so under the microscope so this is the old port that we need to take off so I apply a little bit of flux and then I'll come in with some fresh solder on all the pins this is going to make it a little bit easier to remove So I started off trying to use solder wick to remove it and it does remove a lot, it probably is a doable job but I think it's going to take too long. So I'll come in with a little bit more flux and then I'll come in with my hot air station, set it at 400 degrees C, just keep moving it round, get your pair of tweezers and then just keep wiggling it and eventually it's going to drop out. Just get your tweezers underneath. Keep gently moving it around, you don't want to rip any traces off, it will come out. Position on the back there, the hardest ones to get out. And then finally it will drop out. And then we can move it out and then let it cool down. We'll give it a quick clean of isopropyl before we carry on. And now this is the wires that we need to solder to. So you can just pause on that bit of the screen if you have to. So we're going to attach four wires of about an inch and a half, two inches in length to these pads that I'm doing. So just solder them on, make sure they're all nice and secure. We'll give it a quick clean again, always clean as you go along. And then make sure you line up the correct wires to the correct pads on the USB-C port. Refer back to the diagram that I drew before if you need to and then that's pretty much it with the solder in there. So we just need to get some epoxy. So we'll just get this Gorilla epoxy, you just mix it all up and it'll go nice and solid. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to smother it on the board across these pins on the top. As long as you put enough on you're not going to have any chance of shorts happening. So make sure you cover all of the pads that are on the top there and then position the port into place. It needs to be hanging over a couple of mil and then clamp it into place. This is just the basic instructions for the full teardown and put back together. Please see the link in the description. Thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.